Jane Doe 1 and 2, as they're identified in this case, say Joshua Rist, then a choir teacher at McNary High, preyed upon them for years. And their lawyer says they're disturbed because it appears he still works for the same district. The purpose of this lawsuit is really simple, and it's to send a message to the Salem-Kaiser School District that they simply have to put their students' safety first. The lawsuit alleges that between 2015 and 2020, then McNary High School choir teacher Joshua Rist formed, quote, inappropriate relationships with two of his students who say their teachers sexually abused them and their school district didn't do enough to stop it. This abuse went on for years. It wasn't just a few interactions that were inappropriate. It was a years long systemic prolonged grooming behavior, inappropriate topics ranging from masturbation to sexual topics that no high school girl should ever have to talk to their, their teacher about, somebody they trusted, a mentor, somebody they thought was there for them with good intentions, had nothing but ill intentions for them. Attorney Emily Stebbins represents Jane Doe 1 and 2 as they they're identified in the lawsuit and says while they're each asking for five million dollars in damages, they're also coming forward to protect others. Their primary motivation is protecting other children and making sure that this doesn't happen again. Because the teacher, Joshua Rist, still appears to work for Salem-Kaiser Public Schools. Their website shows him now at Kalapuya Elementary across town. The lawsuit laying out that Oregon's Teacher Standards and Practices Commission, or TSPC, investigated the students' allegations over two years. The outcome? Rist was suspended for 60 days this summer and given three years job probation. They've been so incredibly traumatized by this. And after coming forward, after sharing their story with the police, with the school district, with the Teacher Standards and Practices Commission, after going through all of that, what they see is him going back and working in an elementary school. And our clients are horrified. The school district telling KGW in a statement it is aware of the lawsuit and has no comment on pending litigation. A spokesperson added, quote, the district is aware of and fully cooperated in the investigation by both law enforcement and TSPC. The district is focused on the safe education of its students. So it appears based on the district statement that police were at one point looking into the matter. We are working to confirm those details. We've also reached out to Joshua Rist, the choir teacher named in the lawsuit via his website. At this point, we haven't heard back. David? Yeah, still a lot of questions there. Alma McCarty in the newsroom tonight. Thanks, Alma.